All right, gonna do one on this uh, Palomar 90A, a little two tube um, base. It uses six LF6 tubes, two of them. Um, just a basic amp, two tuber, um, preamp switch. It has a decent preamp in it for an amplifier still though. Uh, not great. Um, AM SSB just adds delay to the relay. Operate standby switch, high low power switch, um, and then um, main power switch on and off, and basic uh, tune and load. And this one's been mono banded, not by me, maybe by that guy. I don't know for sure, but you know, I see the sticker on there. But um, basically, the band switch has been bypassed, and this amp will work on 10 and 12 meters only. This is the top side of it. Um, the um, amp when I got it, it was blowing fuses and we found that the bias was bad and the um, tubes would run full bore with no bias on it. Um, so the tubes were doing like 200 watts out until it popped a fuse and by the way it had a 15 amp fuse in it. Um, never over fuse amplifiers usually when you do uh, sooner or later you're gonna blow the power transformer but uh, thank goodness he didn't blow the power transformer because the transformer um, when that's gone is you know almost cost half as much as the amp do between that and tubes but he flattened the tube so we put um, we had some replacement we didn't have six LF6s we had six KD6s or is it KN I don't know which one I put in there but anyway it's got replacement tubes in there um, basic um, pie circuit with your um, tune cap tank coil and even though it's hooked to the switch it's just you know goes straight through and then um, to your load uh, cap and then out over here you got your uh, meter and one of the mods and that's one of the reasons I'm doing this is to um, I was on Facebook I think it was or somewhere and somebody was talking about ah, I want my amp to be a uh, factory I don't believe in mods well a lot of times mods can be good depending on you know what you're trying to do and what mods you put in it well one thing about this amp it does not come with a fan in it and it runs really really hot this amp um, especially if it's set up factory because it has all the voltage on the tubes at all times and it's known as a you know a bomb or a fire starter because um, what happens here is even in standby with the um, all the voltages on the tubes at all times even in standby even when you're not keyed down um, something happens with the tube with hiccups or arcs or something um, it could take out the high voltage or short something and the thing could go up in flames even in standby um, so anyway one mod somebody put in this fan it's a 12 volt fan uh, I don't really care for 12 volt fans and they put it into the low voltage of the um, low voltage power supply DC power supply I kind of like AC fans and hook them to the mains but anyway putting a fan in a sweep tube amplifier like this is a good idea it's a good mod um, keeps it cooler um, keeps the um, tubes happier and everything cooler and happier and it kind of eliminates well it doesn't eliminate it but it helps one of the problems is this amp runs really hot and you know it's a, it's a fire starter because it runs so hot um, another mod you know starting at the top that somebody else did maybe that guy on the picture here I don't know for sure but hey somebody did it not me um, they put in that uh, variable trimmer cap there and that's actually an input tuner from the factory this amp does not have any input tuning at all um, so it just runs the input straight to the tube so somebody uh, maybe that guy you know again put in that cap trimmer and it gets the input tuning down some you know not completely but you know that helps and you can tune that to get your input SWR down that's a good mod one of the um, problems on this amp is it's a tetrode amp I call that turbocharge and it got voltage on the screens instead of grounded grid 
but you don't want to leave those screens and the voters just kind of floating around um, so somebody maybe that guy put in this resistor here um, looks like a 10k resistor um, and that goes to the screen voters it keeps that screen voters clamped down kind of like a heavy bleeder and it keeps the voters from fluctuating too much it gives um, um, reverse current protection and surge protection on that screen voters that's a good idea that's a mod somebody else put that you know resistor in there they put this um, ferret choke on there too that's a you know modern mod that ferret keeps some of the RF out of the DC so you know good mod you know people don't believe in mods but some mods actually make things better and the last I guess and the most important was this relay here is an added relay factory you got your um, antenna switch over relay and you got your preamp relay and again I was saying it's got the high voltage and the screen and all that on the tubes at all time no cutoff bias no nothing in this amp um, this is probably Palomar's worst amp. Well, maybe that in the 350Z, um, which they kind of, you know, went back toward this with the um, screen voltage and Tetro. But anyway, uh, getting away from that, um, with the voltage on all the time, this Palomar never corrected that problem. So this was a problematic amp. Uh, some of the later um, Palomars, like the 300A, they didn't have any cutoff or anything for the voltages either, but uh, then they added it to it. So some of the early ones, um, you don't see the added relay to cut off the high voltage, but the later ones they did, which is a good idea. Um, so this one, somebody, maybe that guy on the front, I don't know, put in this relay here to cut off the voltage. Um, and when you key down that relay keys down and that you know got the high voltage from the transformer winding coming in through that black wire and then out through that red going to that resistor there so the voltage is high voltage is only applied when you key down so that kind of fireproofs this amplifier very good idea good mod I do that to mine that don't have any kind of protection like that right um, another one mod and I think this is the last big one really is um, that added resistor there um, 5 watt and it almost looks like 20k but I was like what's a 20k doing in there that has to be a low ohm resistor and I tested it that's actually a 2 ohm resistor and I think it's 2.0 um, and I don't know where the K comes from or maybe the decimal point um, like 0 0.0 K I don't know but that's a 2 ohm resistor but anyway, that's a surge resistor because when you key down, you're cutting on the high voltage all the time. And those caps got to charge every time you key down. And that creates a high surge, high current every time you key down. So it's a good idea to have a surge limiting resistor or current limiting resistor in line like that. Another good mod. So people don't believe in mods. Okay, you know, everybody suit themselves, but... um. I believe in good mods. Don't believe in bad mods or trying to get too much out of an amp and all that. But there are some bad mods, mediocre mods, and good mods. And this amp, you know, not done by me, got some good mods in it. I was talking about that 12 volt fan. That transistor there and that cap on top of the cap and the diode are all regulating that 12 volts going to the fan that's you know like I said I don't like 12 volt fans I like AC fans but anyway you know it's an amp it works this one had bad caps in it recapped it and um, also the bias pot which is a small pot but this one was replaced with this um, big one two watt pot right there um, so that fixed the bias and recapped it and um, you know we had some other few minor problems with it but um, the main problem was the bias and somebody had put in a 15 amp fuse don't do that but anyway I think that's about all I wanted to talk about on this one so I'm going to set the camera down and turn it flat because some tubes don't like to be ran uh, vertically well that'd be horizontally 
so anyway hopefully we're still um ready to go and not detuned it with my moving and and all that and uh, letting it warm up also this amp it didn't have uh the proper meter and it. it had a regular meter and somebody tried to like glue it in there and all that um, and it didn't work so we had the right meter it's just this meter didn't have the right insert wherever I got these um, edgewise meters from edgewise are ones that run like this um, but it's the right meter it just doesn't have the right insert so it works so we stuck that in there for the guy and um, decent out once you mod it all up and and get it working uh, correctly and don't try to get too much out of it uh, you know little two tube amp little transformer um, you know basically and they call it a 90a because it's basically you know a little 90 watt amplifier you know if it was a 200 watt amplifier Palomar would call it a you know Palomar 200 something um, so anyway, we're gonna use the mud duck radio over there and um, Look like everything turned the way it's supposed to be so we gonna key it down and um, 200 watt scale there Man, Must be on peak So we're dead keying 30 watts audio 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 we're swinging to about 120 peak we're going to put it on uh, average. Audio, audio, audio. Talking about 50. Shh. Shh. Shishing to about 60. And whistling to about 70. And that's the input SWR and watts right there. So three and a half watts going in it. 1.7, you know, 1.6, 1.7 input SWR. Not too bad. Everything working like it should now. Um, not a bad little amp. That's going to be it for this um, Palomar 98 that I did for a local customer. Um, only reason I did it because he was local and he seems like an all right guy. Uh, we still not taking any uh, mail in work or any work from anybody else right now, especially since this one of my uh, so called friends still got me. Alright, that's gonna be it for this one. Bye.